You ever see a snow that beautiful? Look at that. Sure, there's work to be done, but let's enjoy this snow. We'll take a quick look at this winter wonderland. The snow's really piled up. I'd say probably about 12 inches or so. The suburban needs pulled out so we can get everything plowed. Grab some coffee and a biscuit. Let's explore some of the beauty. There's an old printing press wheel. We'll get the plow truck all opened up. We'll see if everything starts up. Chances are we'll need a boost. You gotta love it when it starts up. We'll get the rest of the snow off here. Easily 12 inches. We'll definitely have to work at getting this snow off. There's a Suburban under there. Yeah, let's get this party started. Well, here we go. Plow truck is a necessity sometimes. Getting down the hills is no problem, it's getting back up. So the trick is we gotta get back up the hill. Gotta keep the momentum going. We'll hit this drift of snow and just run right up that hill. Once you start, you cannot stop. You gotta keep that momentum going. You start off slow, then as soon as you can, you get that momentum going. And keep it going, don't stop. Beautiful pass. Now all that's left is to let the sun burn that off. I find that chains on one of the wheels helps it tremendously. This is a Meyer plow with a Fisher hydraulic pump on it. So the plow moves left to right. The hydraulics work really fast, not like the electric motors. You want to make sure that you keep the gravel on the road. You don't want to push the gravel on the grass. Plowing can be a little strategic. Sometimes you back drag like this. When you cross a road, you'll have the snow that goes onto the other lane. Sometimes you have the plow straight to the left, to the right. It's whatever you need to do. To get the garage plowed out, we'll need to back drag this. With the plow in the air, we'll pull up to the garage doors. Then we'll be able to pull all that snow out of there. We'll drop the plow and back drag out of there. Nice and clean. Then we'll repeat the process until all the snow's away from the garage doors. Drop the plow and back drag. Depending upon where you want the snow to go, you can twist the plow in that direction. We want the snow to go to the outside, so we leave it this way. Clean up these little trails here. There's not much snow, so we'll go straight back with it. Now we'll pull out this last little trail. Now everything's nice and clean. We'll need to get this car out, so we'll back drag behind this it. This one's two-wheel drive, so it's definitely gonna need this snow pulled out of there. That's a lot of snow. This stuff pushed out of here. These lights look like gumdrops. Instead of back dragging, we're gonna go to the side. Then we'll push that snow away from the car. There we go. We'll take one more pass at the back. Use a snow shovel to get to the doors. So with everything plowed, everybody can get to where they need to go. With a snow shovel, we'll get everything all cleaned up around the tires. We're on a slight grade here, so it's always tricky trying to get a two-wheel drive car out. Before we had this plow, we had to do all this stuff with a snow shovel. It certainly takes a lot less time now, that's for sure. Now we'll see how this goes. Gonna rock it back and forth and we're, we're out. That's great. Always a trick with these front-wheel drive cars. Sometimes they just spin and spin and spin. Now we'll need to get the ADA ramp all cleaned up. We'll clear out the front, right in front of the ramp. You always have to have a place to push the snow where the cars aren't gonna be. Having the ability to move the plow left, right, or straight is a big deal. While we're finishing up, might as well let the chickens out. Real high-tech door, a screw to keep the door closed. No raccoon has been able to defeat this system yet. Gotta make sure you put away the screwdriver. The chickens are just kinda peeking out getting some of that fresh snow. Just kind of plow one car at a time. This one's all wheel drive, so it'll have no problem getting out. It's nice to only use this snow shovel for touch up. Gotta put that snow somewhere. We may just cut some of this out with the snow shovel. We'll just clear it out by hand. We'll have an open path to the road. There we go. Getting all dug out. Officially dug out now, ready to enjoy the day.